Hey everyone, so this is year three of the pandemic and I feel like everyone in my contacts list has forgotten how to text or message. Uh, everyone's being very boring. They're saying most of my conversations go something like this. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? How's it going? That is boring. Let's stop doing that. So what I decided instead is I put together this presentation for you, all right? This is Messaging 101. Uh, it's a group of random roll tables that you can use a D10 or a D12 die on, uh, a 12-sided die, a 10-sided die, to come up with random responses to everyday messages that you might receive. I thought that was a little bit interesting. I'd like to share that with you now. Let's get started. The first topic is going to be conversation starters. This is like, hey, how's it going? Hello. Hey there. You know, when you're the one initiating the conversation, number one. Rock, paper, scissors, you versus me right now. The important thing is, is that you let your opponent answer first. Because if they say rock, well, I had paper. If they said um, paper, well, I had scissors. Who doesn't love scissors? Scissoring is awesome. Reply yes, daddy, to receive your $500 gift. All right, you're going to learn a lot about your friends if you get them to reply yes, daddy. You could just go, Marco, Polo, Marco. Help, I'm stuck in the ball pit at McDonald's again. That's a funny one. Watching animals screw on Nat Geo, thought I'd reach out to you. Who doesn't like being told that somebody's thinking about them? You have bond money, right? That is an amazing message to wake up to first thing in the morning. Any Bigfoot sightings lately? I've been worried about the guy. You know, it's funny, this whole pandemic, the last three years, not a single Bigfoot sighting. What's up with that? This is a pretext text. I'll be texting again in 10 minutes. Who doesn't like that Earth energy... This is how it's going to be set schedule Virgo Capricorn style. I mean, like, everyone loves it. Birthmarks are weird. I don't know anything about birthmarks. I'm on the toilet. Going to be a record breaker. Do you want to be my moral support during this memorable event? Hey, who doesn't like making history, especially when it comes to their friends? Everybody needs a lifeguard. All right, so this is how to reply to hello. This is... The second one is replying to somebody when they start the conversation. Number one, new phone, who dis? It's an oldie, but mwah, it's a classic. Shaved off all my hair, now I'm aerodynamic. They were not expecting that one. You're going to make them spit their coffee out. For real? Okay, let me put on some pants real quick. Let them know where they stand in your priorities. I'm driving and there's a cop following me. If you want somebody to, to leave you alone for like an hour, tell them that you can't talk right now, you're driving and there's a cop following them, following you. It'll work every time. Oh, hey, sorry I borrowed your toothbrush, but I replaced it like a week ago. Uh, but you might want to wash it ASAP just to be safe. The mystery involved. It's like an episode of Scooby-Doo. They're going to want to solve it. What are you talking about? Why do they want to wash it? Okay, Google, play Hello by Adele. This, one, this next one, number seven, works especially well if it's a text message or a Facebook message. You'll have to speak up. I'm mega high right now. Yeah, in your text, you'll have to speak up. I'm mega high right now. Well, if it isn't my favorite sock puppet, how's purgatory? Again, just an odd one. He's got a knife. Um, I'm getting plowed right now. Do you mind if I put you on speakerphone? That is romantic. I love that one. No, for real though, if like one of my friends said that, I'd be like, yeah, go ahead, put me on speakerphone. Okay, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Out of the blue, somebody on Facebook adds you or somebody like opens up a direct message 
and is just like, Hi, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, I was wondering if you want to come live with me on an island. This is how you respond. Number one, I have no money. All right. I have no money and the itching burning is contagious. Right off the bat, let them know where you stand. You look exactly like a Sims character that I made last week. All right. First off, who still plays Sims? Okay. Wait, you're here? Oh no, this must be that timeline. These are not the droids that you're looking for. Are you wearing cologne? Because I'm hella allergic to it. Like, back off, dude. Back off. Sorry, no autographs. Your time is sacred. You're important. Let them know. Hello, we are not home right now, but if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, we will return your call. You wait for them to respond, and then you type, or you say, beep. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoyas. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. A valid argument. Please hold. And then you either ignore or block their ass. I would sell my glass eye to get you to stop right now. All right, so the next table of uh, responses, pre-made responses that you can roll on with your 10-sided or 12-sided die. This one's going to be a 12-sided. Uh, they call you hot. They call you beautiful. They call you gorgeous. If you can't excel with talent, you got to triumph with effort. That one's just clever, and it will make them think. You have chosen poorly. Number three. Unfortunately, we don't share the same sentiments. Unless they're calling you beautiful. If they're saying like, oh, you're beautiful, tell me about me. We don't share the same sentiments. If they're saying, oh, you're gorgeous, you're fantastic, you're the most beautiful. Be like, this isn't even my final form. Inner beauty is great, but a little hairspray never hurts. It's a blessing and a curse. It really, truly is. Life fails to be perfect, but never fails to be beautiful. I like that one. They don't all have to be snarky. They don't ha all have to be rude. That's a pretty one. This is going to affect your nickname in my contacts list. Yes, yes, keep feeding my ego. Keep feeding my ego with your compliments. Get them to just like describe different things. Tell me about my hair. Tell me about my eyes. Tell me about my neck. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and I'll be holding you later. Let me run this past my polycule first, okay? If you know, you know. Play with my hair, not with my heart. And lastly, and you, friend, have really good taste. On to the next table. What to do when they say, I love you. All right, here's 10 responses to what to do when they say, I love you. Number one, sorry, Mario, your princess is in another castle. That's classic. A horrible decision, really. Yeah. Well, no accounting for taste. You don't want to deal with this bag of crazy. There is no escaping destiny. I think we should see other people. Yo, my rates just went up. Finger guns. You got to know the value of your own juice box, baby. I love you. Of course you do. You got to know the value of your own juice box. All right. They're wanting to escalate things now. Talk dirty to me. This is what you say. This one's a 10-sided. Macaroni noises. You just keep writing the same text over and over again. Macaroni noises. <laughs> Macaroni noises.
I want you in the worst way, standing up in a hammock, in the back of a Volkswagen. Show me some ankle, you harlot. What if we both wore ball gags instead? Toss a coin to the witcher, oh valley of plenty, oh valley of plenty. Oh. It's raw. Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> Chipotle, the meaningless sex? You text that to me, huh? I love Chipotle. My neck, my back, my Netflix and my snacks. And then lastly, number 10. Her palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on her sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. It's graphic. You're describing things. You know, you get the full ensemble. Moving on to the next chart. All right, so this random roll table is for when they say that they want sex. When they say that they're feeling randy and they want to make some whoopee. This is how you should respond. Who shot who in the what now? Just act surprised. Give them a minute. Get, allow them the chance to back out of it. Ask the guys around here. I'm horrible in bed. Ask the girls around here. I'm horrible in bed. Ask the folks around here. I'm horrible in bed. That's a lot. You don't want to deal with this bag of crazy. I just discovered an irregular mole. Uh, in my armpit, and I don't think I'm ready for any sort of romantic relationship, at least until I know it's harmless. Sorry, I only have eyes for Lady Demestrieu. Sorry, I only have eyes for Lady Demestrieu. How do you even say that? I just know that she's the big vampire lady, and I like her. <laughs> I just ordered a personal pizza, and there is no way I am sharing. How do I know you're not a spy from the Fire Nation? I literally just went into labor. Well, it started about 10 minutes ago, but the contractions are pretty severe. I should probably go pop this one out. This one works best for people who are like states away or in another country. Unfortunately, I haven't mastered the art of teleportation yet. It's like, what are you going to do about it, you know? Rings bell loudly. Shame! More bell. Shame! <laughs> All right, next table. All right, so this one is say no. Uh, and I don't mean it in the whole, like, dare aspect. Just say no. I mean in, like, a friend's asking you to move a couch type thing. Like, you know, hey, can you come with me Friday to go do this thing? This is, these are ten ways to say no. I cannot help you, for secretly I'm three raccoons in a trench coat. That sounds like effort, so no. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding, asking me for a favor. Seriously? No. Sometimes just saying no works. It would cause the slow death of my soul. That's uh, the most poetic Shakespearean way I've ever heard the word no. Uh, it would cause the slow death of my soul. Where was Gondor when the Westfold fell? When is it? Ooh, can't. I'm teaching my fish to play the tuba. Sorry, I'm getting my pilot's license then. Ooh, bad timing. I have to return to my home planet soon. And then the last one? I would, but my city needs me. All right. So this is a list of uh, responses when somebody calls you ugly. Maybe you should eat some makeup so you can be pretty on the inside. I can always count on you to relentlessly point out the negative. And yet you fapped me. That attitude is what's ugly. Beauty attracts the eye, but personality attracts the heart. Unfortunately, we do not share the same sentiments. Because you, you don't need to rag on yourself. You don't need to dog on yourself. If you can't say anything nice, please jerk in silence. That's one of my all-to, that's one of my all-time go-tos. Be that as it may, my dick is bigger than yours. Bruh.
That awkward moment where you think you're important to somebody, but you actually are not. And number 10, on a scale of $1 to $10, how attractive are you? Yeah, that's right. Put your money where your mouth is. All right, so somebody leaves an abusive comment, uh, be this in a, a live message or you see it after the fact. Number one, that's interesting. Why would you say that? People who say dumb shit, they love explaining why, why they said dumb shit. If you can't say anything nice, I'll have to ask you to leave. I'm confused. Can you explain further, please? Yeah, don't just say something, throw it out there. Tell me why, motherfucker. I have neither the patience nor the crayons to explain this to you. Jealousy is a disease. Get well soon. You're the reason this country has to put the directions on shampoo bottles. You are God's perfect idiot. People see themselves as the center of the universe and judge everything as it relates to them. Basically, the adult version of I am rubber, you are glue. Yep, that train is never late. Number 10, a clear conscience is a sure sign of a poor memory. On to random answers to anything. Say that the conversation's fizzled out or you don't exactly precisely know what it is the other person is wanting you to say or what they're even trying to get at. These are 12 responses, get your D12 out, that you can say. Number one, and thus I die. Number two, ah yes, the prophecy is complete. Number three, so as come to this. Number four, is this why fate has brought us together? Five, just like in my dream, Number six, and then the wolves came. Number seven, in this economy. Number eight, to truly find yourself, you must go play hide and seek alone. Number nine, seize the means of production. Number 10, hocus pocus, I lost my focus. Number 11, you don't get to the Cloud District very often, do you? Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. And number 12. Dogs don't know what to think of me either. Moving on to, this is a fun one. This is going to be one of the like last tables that I show you. Um, but say that you want to turn the conversation to something more interesting. And be like, hey, you know, I'm doing fortune telling now. I can read your fortune. Oh yeah? What is it? Here's 10 fortunes that you can give your friends or people on the internet. Ready? Number one. Pigeon poop burns the retina for 13 hours. You will learn this the hard way. Life will be happy until the end when you will pee yourself a lot. It is easier to resist in the beginning than in the end. Avoid vans that offer candy and puppies. You will fail to pass for human when faced with your next CAPTCHA. A large group of people will soon see your genitals. You are sensitive, kind, thoughtful, generous, and gullible. An assassin has been sent to kill you. Avoid the Girl Scout and stay away from Thin Mints. Love is on the horizon. The stars predict that he will be tall, handsome, and a centaur. A curse. All your children will be born completely naked. Soon, you will struggle with how to clean your keyboard. All right, our last one. Goodbye closers. Saying goodbye, ending the conversation. You're the one ending the conversation. Rapid fire. If we don't meet again, avenge my death. I think we should see other people. My medication is about to wear off in 10 minutes, and trust me, neither one of us wants to be here when that happens. Look at the time, I have to go crush fruit with my powerful thighs. Narrate your own exit. 
Goodbye. I'll remember you in therapy. Well, this conversation isn't going to end itself. Look at the time. I have to go disinfect my grandmother. All right, I'm going to doom scroll Facebook for four hours now. I mean, it's the truth. And lastly, so long, faithful follower. Now, let's see what happens when they are the one leaving. Again, rapid fire. Godspeed, you absolute trooper. The prisoner is escaping. And then after that, release the hounds. So long, you're dead to me now. Stay fresh, cheese bag. <laughs> but you do it in emojis. You get the idea. Number six, we're really going to miss avoiding you around here, especially if it's a group chat. Number seven, oh, you're going? Who will I make fun of now? Drink some water, you dehydrated houseplant. Seriously, everyone should hydrate. I want you to hydrate right now. Drink some water. Would you like to fill out a brief survey after this conversation today? Ah, oh, finally. I've been holding this fart in for like ever. All right, so basically, those are uh, multiple responses that you can use for everyday situations to improve your texting, your messaging, make things a little bit more interesting. Three things I want you to remember. Number one, stay fresh, all right? Always continue to improve yourself, change the situation, um, learn, build, and grow. Break boring. Familiarity, constant routine, that could be nice uh, for work, for home life, but if you're trying to like actually make a connection or see where something might go, you got to break boring. You got to do something a little bit out of the lines. You know, make yourself memorable. Number three, life is a game. It's meant to be lived. Play to have fun. All right? You don't always have to, uh, 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 I can't do that, I can't do that. Sometimes you just got to do things, you know what I mean? Within reason, you know, don't like, I'm going to fly, you know, off of this building. Beyond that, I love you all very much, and I will see you all again next weekend. Bye.